In 2008 and 2012, African Americans voted in record numbers to elect Barack Obama president and make history twice. Our journey is not complete until all our children, from the streets of Detroit to the hills of Appalachia to the quiet lanes of Newtown, know that they are cared for and cherished. But in 2016, African Americans didn't turn out as expected. Donald Trump won Michigan by a whisker and took the White House. So what kind of voter participation do African American leaders from Grand Rapids to Detroit predict in 2020? I think it's going to be higher, Chuck, uh, something like 2012. It's got to be. I agree with the 2012. I would agree, 2012. This time around, they believe the difference will be the policy issues at stake. George Floyd will be on the ballot. Breonna Taylor will be on the ballot because we'll be electing people who will focus on the policies, police reform. Colin Kaepernick, LeBron James, and many other athletes are taking courageous stands, but will trigger young people to vote. Everyone needs to get to the polls, no matter what their race is, no matter what their age is. And in a very partisan year, will citizens be able to vote safely? We will have 50 lawyers, and we will sue your butt if, in fact, you do what is wrong and get in the way of people trying to exercise their right to vote. We will be standing at polling stations with our collars on. If they can stand with their guns on their side, we can stand with our Bibles in our hand. And we're going to be able to make sure people feel safe. Most of all, they hope Election Day will be a throwback to the unified days of the modern civil rights movement. When preachers spoke, people listened. All in favor, let it be known by standing on your feet. You can see my entire interview with our statewide Michigan panel of leaders on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock over on TV 20 Detroit or by downloading our Channel 7 app. For Channel 7 Action News, I'm Chuck Stokes.